They worked hard to get them to Washington, and tonight some Trump and Pence supporters in northwest Indiana are heading to the nation's capital to join them for the big day. CBS 2's Roseanne Tay has caught up with a group from Griffith, Indiana, as they prepare for the inauguration. The peaceful changing of power, and regardless of who it is, you know, it's a, it's a majestic thing, mm -hmm. and a lot of countries don't see that. As Griffith GOP chair, Tom Wichlinski has met President-elect Donald Trump and is excited to attend a presidential inauguration, but even more excited for Trump to get to work. And I'm hoping that uh, this is going to be a jobs president. Here in Griffith, candidate Trump opened a campaign office early on, and that's when town council president Rick Reifa says he just knew. Just by the, the enthusiasm of those people walking in there, at that time, that's when I said this man is going to be our next president. He says both Trump and Vice President-elect Mike Pence have been good friends to Griffith. And we fully anticipate once he gets in Washington, he will remember us. Are you excited about your, your trip? E extremely excited. Andy Cannell is headed to the inauguration, too, and a candlelight dinner with the vice president. He's heard reports that the festivities would have fewer celebrities than years past. Well, it's not about celebrities. It's about the people. She had all the stars going around, and, you know, Donald Trump was going to the Rust Belt and just meeting with the people. He hopes those are the people in the crowd on inauguration day. Roseanne Teus, CBS 2 News. The group says they welcome protesters, too, and consider peaceful protests another great American tradition.